let's assume this is the post and I want these 47 people's list right so I'll just write yeah, extra so summarize the top learnings from this we tell key hey navigate navigate me to this thumb nail part another uh, interesting use case that I found was uh, for discount vouchers, this message. Hi, Carlos. I hope you message fine. And I've been following you about at Samrush as you as a top voice in remote work. So inspiring. Now, this is the fun part, right? It automatically reads that Carlos works at Samrush. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a long, long time, but today I'm back with the banger. Uh, this video is about Comet Browser uh, by Perplexity. Uh, it's one of those AI browsers that have come up um, and I'm one of the few lucky ones to get access to it. And uh, yeah, I've been using it for uh, some time now and I'm here to share some use cases that I found useful as well as a few use cases you'll find value from in your daily life, um, right? So yeah, let's get into it. In LinkedIn, you can do some pretty amazing stuff. Uh, first is lead generation, right? So usually, you know, lead generation and how slow it is. And um, yeah, I mean, sometimes you just want somebody to do it for you, right? Um, so uh, quickly, I was just doing one of this where I wanted a list of people uh, which with job title CMO and who are based in Bangalore and um yeah i mean initially when you uh prompt it it'll just find some sources online etc and then still give you a list but what's better than getting it straight out of linkedin right so here i just ran a query so you just need to ask it here in the answer box right and it'll, it'll find all those uh people for you and it'll, it'll keep on going um again there are limitations to it again you can also export this as a csv etc to make it easy but uh it's pretty damn cool right because these are real profiles real people another use case is um extracting like let's say you want uh like, let's say a bunch of people have commented and you want their ids or for example let's assume i'm hiring for a content marketer just assume and then um i i come to a post where a lot of people let's say they also there's a post about where content marketing hire and i've seen a lot of people have liked the post commented etc right now what i can do is uh and what i'll suggest is you open the post in other so let's assume this is the post and i want these 47 people's list right so i'll just write extract the profiles of people who've commented on this post on the tab open now whenever comet is will use your browser and that's when you can't access it so even if you click it won't you can't access it this blue bar appears right and this is when it's it's actually doing what it's doing it's scrolling up down now again this it might do might not do it depends right so it's pretty much hidden trial you might need to instruct it etc so yeah just quickly it has gotten me list of, uh, i think 35 people if i'm not wrong and if you need a csv or another format let me know so they under a minute or so it gave you this and this is pretty cool right i could reach out to these people or probably do this um draft me Draft me a message inviting Carlos to my podcast. Um, talk about, um, uh, let him know that I've contributed to Ahrefs and other big publications and um, I have people from 
X company attend uh, as a guest on my podcast. It gets over, let's say, uh, 2000 uh, listens a month. Right now, this is, um, uh, I mean, a random thing, right? So, this is quickly. It, it generates you this message. Hi, Carlos. I hope you message fine. And I've been following you about at Samrush as you as a top voice in remote work. So inspiring. Now, this is the fun part, right? It automatically reads that Carlos works at Samrush. He's a top voice and he talks about uh, remote working. And if you followed Carlos, you know that he'll, he'll post a lot about remote work. I was about the more videos. And I mean, this is so much uh how do i say it so much useful and valuable and this barely took some time right and this is very very personalized as well this is not something uh which is straight out of let's say chat gpt and and assuming if you put this message on chat gpt you might not get such a personalized response right it'll be very very generic so this is this is uh this is another use case i found useful so for example if you are messaging somebody or let's say somebody has reached out to you uh, especially when you get a lot of messages, right? This is very useful. You can't reply to all the pe- all the people, right? Uh, uh, these are few use cases on LinkedIn that I found useful. Now let's go to YouTube. Uh, so YouTube also there's a bunch of things you can do, right? In the next minute. Now let's say this video, right? Uh, this YouTube playbook. So. You can ask for a summary. So summarize the top learnings from this video. Right. So YouTube's decision platform, ideation is key, small to expect differences, audience is focus group, product person performance, and it I think it'll also if you tell key hey navigate navigate me to this thumbnail part so you can play in your videos over the last year and a half but your thumbnails have changed a lot mm-hmm. and I feel like they've improved a lot like in the quality of the graphic design in the composition so yeah i mean such a cool thing right i mean you can jump to a specific part you can also do something like um let me know everything that was discussed about thumbnails now obviously you can view this video on instagram it's, it's a good thing but you can extract this information which is pretty readable um easily consumable um yeah i mean this is a very very cool way and you can also do like hey let me know which creators have been featured in this video and share and get me their twitter profile okay let's say you want to follow these guys right um, and the best part what i feel is you are in the browser itself right you're not going to another tab or so and so yeah see cleo Abram, tom scott tim gabe mark rober mr beast it's it's so much fast and you you get it right it's so much useful in that way now another uh, interesting use case that i found was uh for discount vouchers So let's say shopping and you want discount vouchers, you can easily do that, right? Now, I don't have the best example. Okay, let's see if I can get something. Um, hmm, let's go here. Let's add it to the cart. Let's go to the cart. Uh, find me uh, coupons for checkout. So what it'll do, it'll find all the coupon codes, it'll put it 
it will see which one is working it will also tell you ki, oh, this this is one is this now here i don't know if it did it but this is a cool way right like i can just click here and then another use case that i recently did was this is uh for for everybody who have the uh american express cards right now uh so uh, the mx gifter page right um now it has so what you need to do is you need to buy six vouchers uh of amazon right now because you are rewarded if you do six separate transactions uh, somehow you have to buy these vouchers like six times and it's a very tedious task so what i did was uh, i quickly put the video here uh, where i just automated this process similarly there was one use case which actually the computer was a field in but i feel this will work on other um, websites maybe uh, is ki, hey, uh, just just let's say you can go to your gmail just enter ki, hey, extract all the vouchers and follow the instructions and add it to my account and if your account is logged in chances are it will automatically do it and sometimes these tasks are done on background but you can click on it and then you the browser opens up so that that's very good as well similarly you can i mean you can apply these on other websites as well like reddit for example if you want to research something or you want to summarize a thread or you want to create a post i mean the possibilities are endless uh and um i i really feel uh there's a lot you can do right you could also go to this like this and this just right like extract me the thumb nail of this video uh with this um what i'll do is possibly do a dedicated video of sorts where i'll cover um my best use cases possibly deeping dive on content creators or maybe marketers in general but but i see a lot of um right i have a lot of use cases possibilities and um, again as i mentioned it's still beta but um yeah i mean uh, let me know how what you felt about this uh, what are your thoughts have you experienced this uh, how has your trajectory been in terms of using this browser i have bunch of invites as well so just hit me up uh, on linkedin and i can possibly share invites to you so that you can also try this uh, thank you so much for watching this and let me know what i should cover next until then bye bye